Hi, my name is Devin Knight, and this is the last video in a series that we have about creating certificate of completions with Power Automate, and then storing that as an image in Azure Blob Storage, which was our last video. And then our final video in this series, we're gonna show how we can create this message that we send to our users via LinkedIn that allows them to share the fact that they completed a class with Pragmatic Works or your company. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a quick review of what we've done so far with inside of Power Automate. Inside of Power Automate, we have over the last two videos built a little bit of a lengthier flow slightly here. Not too bad yet, uh, but we started off with a forms trigger. So we actually went out to Microsoft Forms and then from Microsoft Forms, we collected some information from our users. So we prompted them once the course completes, go fill out this form so that way we can ensure that you get your certification. It could even be a survey. Maybe you have a survey in Microsoft Forms and you wanna make sure that they complete the survey so you could tie them completing the survey to them getting a certificate of completion. How about that? So what we're doing is we are saying, you fill out this form. You can see the, for the form is up at the top here. That was our first video. Once we create the form, we have a little variable in here that's storing the name of the class that's going to be listed on the certification. Again, best practices, I should come through and rename each of these, give them a proper name for documentation purposes. Uh, so then once we store the name of the certification, we then populate a Microsoft Word template. And so we showed you in the first video how to create that Microsoft Word template, and here we've populated it as well. Then we create the Word file and store it inside of OneDrive. So we're storing this file inside of OneDrive. We're even parsing together the name of the file and we're taking the content of the file from the populate Word template action. Then we convert that file to a PDF because we want them to have a PDF version of it, not a Word document, so they can't change things on it and have unlimited certification or certificate of completions. We want them to have just one, so we're gonna do it as a PDF. Then we're gonna convert that PDF or really convert that Word document again to a JPEG. And the reason why we did that was discussed in the last video. Ultimately, what we're trying to do is we want to get to a point where our users can actually go to a link that we provide to them in the email we send. So we can provide a link to them like this and it will allow them to share the certification or the, cert I keep saying certification, I mean certificate of completion. If by selecting share in a post, they would then be able to, to, through LinkedIn, share the fact that they completed a course with your company. That's my goal is I'm trying to make it so that it's a little bit more of a social thing where they're sharing the fact that they completed courses with your company on LinkedIn. So how can we wrap this up? I want this to work. And the, the main challenge that we discussed in the last video was we couldn't just store the image with inside of OneDrive because OneDrive had an issue where whenever we attempted to use a file, even an anonymous file from OneDrive, LinkedIn didn't really communicate with it very well. It actually just showed a blank, you know, connect to your uh, connect to your login to be able to actually see an image. So it didn't work the way we would anticipated it would. So our workaround for that was we leveraged Azure Blob Storage. And so using Azure Blob Storage, and we showed you how to create a storage account and how to create a container. And then in our last video, we showed you how to upload those that content into your Azure Blob Storage. But once we've created that file in Azure Blob Storage, we then now wanna use it with inside of our email. So our final step here is we are going to take the URL that we actually parsed together here in our variable where we took the URL to our storage account and we took the path from our create blob variable. I'm gonna go ahead and rename this so it's a little clearer. So this is our uh, image URL. Uh, that's fine, we'll go with that, image URL. But we have a variable that's created from this called var string certification image URL. And we're gonna use that variable now with inside of our email that we're sending out. So that's our final step here to see and ensure everything is working end to end. So let me go ahead and take myself off screen here because we're going to want to see the full screen for this. But we're going to expand our send an email action and we're going to make some modifications to this. Now, a couple things we could do if we want to make this into a hyperlink, we may want to go ahead and flip over to the HTML view of this. That way it can be a little easier to be able to create uh, our, our parsing of our image as well as a hyperlink. So I'm going to go over to the code view here. And you can see it's a pretty simple little email that we have so far. Uh, but what I'd like to do is I'm going to go ahead and create another line here. And what I'd like to do, let's actually do two carriage returns there, 
And what I'd like to do is I want to be able to have something that allows our users to actually click a link. And by clicking that link, it will allow them to share their certificate of completion through LinkedIn. So I could say something like, uh, let's do, actually I have some of this copied out already, but I'm trying to say something like click here and the click here part, uh, the word here can actually be a hyperlink that tells them to do something. So if I were to type the word click, I could then start to bring in, this is all HTML here, so I could start to type out some HTML where I actually parse out a URL. Uh, to save you a little bit of time here from having to watch me type this, I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste a little bit here. But we're just basically doing some simple HTML where we're gonna create a little hyperlink, and the URL that I want it to go to is gonna be the one that we have built out here above. So we're gonna use that URL and we're gonna parse it in uh, to different parts of the rest of what we're trying to do here with inside of Power Automate as well. All right, so to do that, we're going to uh, pass in this portion of the URL, which actually says uh, the LinkedIn share button. So that's part of the LinkedIn necessary URL. But then where it says URL equals, we're actually gonna parse in some dynamic content from our initialized variable we have above. So here's the variable that we wanna use right here, the certification uh, image, and we're gonna take that and plant that right after where it says URL equals. And this is again, part of the URL that's leveraged with inside of LinkedIn to be able to send messages that have uh, predetermined links inside of them. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pass that in. We'll make sure that's on the same line there. Oh, it was on the same line. Let's do that again, there we go. And then we'll go ahead and do a close parentheses and we'll close out that HTML tag. Now, you can put a little bit more at the end of this if you wanted to. I have a little bit more text that I might add to this. In fact, I'm just gonna paste this in here as well. But basically it says, click here, and the here is gonna be underscore, or not underscored, but uh, clickable, it's a hyperlink, to tell others about your accomplishment on LinkedIn. So that's it. That's all we had to do. So now if we save this, this will actually send a URL, again, noticing the URL here, this will send a hyperlinked email, an email with a hyperlink that whenever your users click on it, they will actually get a link that will share the, cert the certification or certificate of completion, I should say, on LinkedIn. So let's go ahead and test this out. I'm gonna hit test. We will do a manual test and I'm gonna fill out my form, my Microsoft form. I'll bring that over here again. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the public link for our form here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that link, go to it. We'll fill out the form now that we have ourselves in test mode here. I'm gonna go ahead and run this, say that our date is March 2nd. I'll put in my name and my email address. And if I run this, it should kick off our flow. Let's go ahead and go back over to our flow. All right, so our flow is kicked off. We can see that it's creating, kind of seeking back out to our form. It's triggering off from our form. We're gonna then see it creates the file with inside of OneDrive, it creates the PDF. It's then going to create an image for us after that. It's gonna create that image and store it with inside of Azure Blob Storage. That'll take a few moments. And then it will send out an email. And it does a little bit of cleanup at the end where it actually deletes the file there at the end as well. Now, if I were to go check my email, I should have an email, uh, in this case from myself, where it's giving me the attached certificate of completion, but also has a URL within inside of the email that allows me to uh, share on LinkedIn. So my goal is to make this a little bit more, I don't wanna call it viral, I wouldn't say LinkedIn's a viral messaging area, but I wanna make it so that I can at least send to my users, let me bring it over here, that the fact that we had the certificate of completion that was received, and then I also wanna have here where it says click here to tell others about your accomplishment on LinkedIn. So if I were to click that link where it says click here, let's see what happens. It's gonna launch LinkedIn. We're gonna see the URL is parsed up at the top here, and it looks like we have a successful LinkedIn dynamic message through Power Automate. So if I were to hit share in a post, we'll see that we do have the ability to share that here. It looks great. Everything's good to go, and we can then share that post with others. So looking really good there. I think this is perfect. 
I'm really happy with how this came out. Hopefully this is helpful to you as well. We're really kind of the, showing you the idea of what you can do with Power Automate, how you can think outside the box when it comes to Power Automate. And there's a lot of different things that maybe you can consider doing with Power Automate that maybe you hadn't even thought of before. So th sharing things dynamically on LinkedIn, while there are ways to do that, here we're now able to take an image and make a dynamically shared image through LinkedIn, maybe something that would have been a little bit more difficult other ways. Now we can do it with Power Automate. I hope you liked this video today. If you did, make sure you give me a like. Make sure you let me know that you liked the video, that you learned something from it. And then also, uh, make sure you subscribe. We have a lot of people that do watch our videos that are not subscribers. So go ahead and subscribe so you know whenever we post new videos on our channel. Hit that uh, notification bell so you're notified as well. And if you like more videos about Power Automate, let me know. I want to know what kind of things you want to learn about Power Automate so I can share more with you. Thanks so much for watching again today, and we'll see you in our next video. Thanks.